Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara, and every Sunday I share a new recipe that's easy to make, delicious, but also healthy. I know you guys absolutely love using your Instant Pot. What kind of Instant Pot do you have? Let me know in the comments below. Today, we're gonna make a cod recipe that is packed with flavor and nutrients, so incredibly easy and fast to make, you guys are gonna absolutely love it. I've shared several cod recipes on this channel before you guys have absolutely loved. I will link them in the description box below in case you missed them and you'd like to check them out after this video. If you love easy Instant Pot recipes, smash that thumbs up button and let's grab our Instant Pot and head straight to the kitchen. We're gonna need some miso paste for this recipe and I like using this white miso because it's a little bit milder. But you use whatever kind that you have it's really gonna ramp up the flavor of this sauce and it's so delicious. Then we're gonna add some orange juice. This is just bottled orange juice. You can use fresh squeezed if you have it. Add some soy sauce, along with just a little bit of cayenne pepper. This sauce is not super spicy, but if you're sensitive to spice, of course you can leave it out. Some salt and pepper. And we're gonna just give everything a really good stir. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to be a part of this community just by tapping that red subscribe button below. I post new videos every Sunday. I decided to add a little bit more orange juice just to increase the acidity. And I have left all of the instructions in the description box below, as well as on a recipe card at the end of the video. So now I'm gonna just grate in one garlic clove give it a good stir. And I'm gonna do the same with this piece of ginger. This was in my freezer. I love storing my ginger in the freezer. It just makes it so convenient. You could use a blender for this, but why dirty anything else? This comes out beautifully. Next, we're gonna grab our cod fillets. I got these from the butcher box. I love using the butcher box. I have a link in the description box below for you to save money if you wanna try it for yourself. These are defrosted, and now you're gonna see me putting them inside of these stainless steel containers that work in the Instant Pot. And I'm gonna apply some sauce. A key part of having everything in your Instant Pot cook perfectly is to use similar thickness fish or chicken or whatever else you're cooking if you're putting it inside of the same container. So I realized that both of these pieces of cod were very different in thickness. So I came up with a brilliant plan to cook them at the same time inside of the Instant Pot and not have to worry about one being undercooked and one being overcooked. You simply do that by placing the thinner piece on a double layer of aluminum foil and the thicker piece on just one layer. The thicker the aluminum foil, the less it will cook. And of course, I wanna use all of the sauce that I had put inside of this container. This recipe is so simple and so quick to make and it actually meal preps really well. I brought this to work and it was perfect, heated up inside of the microwave. So then we're gonna fold our packets. It's important to fold them tightly so that no air can escape. And I'm doing this for both of the packets. Then we're gonna grab our Instant Pot. I'm using my Instant Pot Mini. I love my Mini Instant Pot. Do you guys have the Mini? I would love to know. So we're adding the water. You always need water to pressurize, as well as the trivet that came with it. And now pay attention closely here. We're gonna place the thicker piece on the bottom and the thinner piece on the top. Whatever is closest to the top will cook less. Make sure it's set to sealing and that the silicone ring is on. Close the lid and set it to high pressure for three minutes. Then we're gonna take the other half of the sauce and just put it in the microwave for about a minute or so to warm it up. It's so delicious. After the Instant Pot is done, we're gonna allow five minutes of natural pressure. And now you're seeing me over here trying to position my Instant Pot so the steam doesn't spray all over my camera. Open up the lid when the pin drops. And now I decided to take an extra step. You don't have to do this, but I highly recommend it. Placing them inside of the air fryer. And I'm setting my Instant Omni Plus to 400 degrees. The lowest it goes is five minutes, but you're gonna see here, I've only allowed it to cook for about one minute. 
I love how caramelized the top gets. It's so incredibly delicious. Always check the internal temperature of whatever you're cooking. And for this fish, it needs to be 145 degrees. I placed it on a bed of arugula, added some cherry tomatoes and some sliced up mango for this low carb, delicious lunch. I'm topping my cod with some of that sauce we warmed up as well as a drizzle of this mango vinaigrette. I will leave the instructions to make this in the description box below if you'd like to try it for yourself. I topped with some sesame seeds. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this recipe. Question of the day, what Instant Pot recipe would you love to see recreated here on this channel in a future episode? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's easy Instant Pot recipe, I would be so appreciative if you'd hit that thumbs up button and share this video with anyone else that you know that loves easy Instant Pot recipes. I put together a playlist of some of my favorite recipes I'm gonna leave right here on the screen if you'd like to check those out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Sunday for another delicious recipe. Bye guys.